new videos every day. Life Wisdom. All right, hi, uh, this is Dr. Eccles again, and today we've got a special treat. We've got Miss Karina here, and what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna be demonstrating how we use specific muscles to help us find out specific problems that may be going on in the body. These muscles that we're gonna test today all have a specific nerve that makes these muscles work. If that nerve is shut off or it's not working properly, then the muscle itself won't work properly. So it's very diagnostic for us to know which muscles are not working and how to test them properly so that we can go to the right area. Let me give you an example. If you have a circuit breaker that trips in your house, that circuit breaker may go to your stove or your refrigerator. And if you go to your refrigerator and it's off, that's probably the first place you're gonna look is for the circuit breaker to see if it's tripped. There may be nothing wrong with your refrigerator itself, it just may be that it's switched off. So this is actually what happens in the body. The body can actually neurologically turn off muscles for a variety of reasons. I'm gonna kind of demonstrate how we look for that and how we might go about fixing it. So we're gonna check uh, her first muscle here. This muscle here is called the rectus femoris. It's right here in the front part of the body and it corresponds to different areas in the body that we can kind of think of as circuit breakers and we'll find out if that muscle's weak and, and how we can turn it back on. So I want you to raise this leg for me and hold it here and push up against my hand. And when I try to do that, she just literally cannot hold that up. The muscle just will not hold it up. If we try this leg here, push up, it is rock solid. So she can hold a, a lot of pressure with this one, but with this muscle here, you see I can use just one finger and we can just push it right down. It's very, very weak. So now the, the question is, why is this muscle not working properly? So we've got to figure that out. So one of the things that can be causing that, push up for me right here. Now, put your, leave your feet apart like that. Our different reflex points on the body can also oftentimes be triggered, and that can actually act like a circuit breaker that's shut down. Push here. And there's one. Let's see here. Okay. So... So what we're going to do is actually get on these circuit breaker points here. Now, Karina, I want you to let me know. I'm going to hit a tender spot here. Is, is it there? <laughs> yeah. Is that the spot? It's pretty tender. All right. And then I'm going to get right <laughs> here. All right. So that's pretty tender right there, isn't it? Yeah. She can, can't really talk right now. We found, we found the tender spot. Oh my didn't, goodness. Didn't know that felt like that, did you? No. Oh yeah. my gosh. It's really intense. Yeah. So uh, these muscles are really important, of course, because, you know, if, if they're not working properly, that means you're not working properly. All these muscles also um, correspond to a, another organ, like the, the uh, small intestine, the large intestine. So if this muscle isn't working, it can also affect those organs as well. Not to mention that if her muscle won't fire right, she's more apt to, you know, not perform well in sports. She's not going to be able to, you know, run the marathon the way she wants to or sprint the way she wants to. And she's even in danger of maybe tripping or falling because the muscles aren't working properly. Uh, my patients often complain that they just don't feel steady on their feet and they're afraid of falling. This can actually be one of the reasons because the muscles are actually just neurologically turned off. So by holding these points like that, we're actually flipping that circuit breaker and helping it. Now what I'm doing here is I'm feeling for pulses in these two points. And I may feel a pulse here, and then I may feel a pulse there. And once these pulses start actually synchronizing, that helps us to know when this circuit breaker is tripped. And oftentimes the patient will tell you, oh, the pain is gone now. So they kind of coincide. So I'm feeling some nice pulses there. How are, how are you feeling down there, Karina? It feels a lot better than it did when you first touched okay. it. Okay, is the pain for the most part gone? It's still a little tender here, but the one in my head doesn't hurt anymore. Okay. 
So let's just check this. Push here. All right, and then we're gonna go to here. Push here for me. All right. All right. So another thing that's going on with you is you've got part of the spine itself that's out of alignment and it's causing some problems with this muscle. So we're going to set up and do an adjustment with you for that. I'll need you to roll on that direction for me. back for me good you all right well, yeah, it feels better good push here for me okay push and then push yeah. all right let's just go back and check this muscle again Hold your leg here, push up. Okay. Push here. All right. So we found another place on her that's like a circuit breaker. Actually, actually this is called a, a neurolymphatic point. And I want to know if it's tender right there. All right. And oh. then here as well, <laughs> right. So we're finding all the spots on Miss Karina today. And the whole point of this is just to get those muscles turned back on and working so she's a little more steady on her feet. And you know, fixing uh, lower backs, this is like one of the very first things we do because um, this, this is a way of finding out where the problem is in the lower back. When these muscles uh, turn off, they, they do so because there's a problem somewhere else in the body. Ooh. Yeah, and she can really feel those. Those are real tender. And I'm going to be just holding these points until we can feel the pulsations in there, which lets us know that we're actually finished with that point and we can start checking for other things. It's amazing how complicated the body is, and it's amazing how many things can affect so many other things. It's just really amazing. I wish it was easier, but it's it's not. It's kind of complicated. Starting to feel some pulses now. Let's wait till they're synchronized. It's very interesting too. I wish I could explain why, but uh, these pulses really don't correspond with the heartbeat. They always beat at 72 beats per minute. I don't know why. And when they're synchronized, that means this, this muscle is actually, we've tripped that circuit breaker on at least this point. Sometimes a person will just kind of have a spontaneous deep breath and just let it out and, and we know that something good is happening.
Still tender. So how's that feeling down there now, Karina? It feels a lot better. It's, it doesn't hurt anymore. It doesn't hurt anymore. I think I'm feeling those pulses kind of synchronized. So let's just check that. Let's see how we're doing here. Push here. Good. Push. Okay. Good. All right. Let's go down here and check this. Raise your foot for me. Hold. Hold it right here. Hold up. Push up. All right. Wow. Isn't that amazing? That's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy, isn't it? So what we had was a situation where the muscle here that raises Karina's leg was neurologically turned off. She really wasn't aware of that, but when we checked it, her muscle was extremely weak. And I want to make a point. A lot of my patients, when we first start doing this work, they go, oh, I need to exercise that muscle. Well, that's not the point. It's not that it's a, a weak muscle. It's that it's turned off, just like a circuit breaker would turn the muscle off. There's nothing wrong with the refrigerator. It's just turned off. So we have to turn it back on. Now, we did that with Karina with a series of adjustments to the spine and hitting these different points on the body that helped to reactivate that muscle and turn it back on. And now when she holds it up, it's rock solid and steady. So she'll be a whole lot better off as a result of that. And her back will uh, be a lot more stable as well. So I hope this has been just a, a little bit of an eye opener for you guys. Those of you who are athletes out there, it's very important that all of your muscles are turned on or your performance is going to suffer. So that's the way that we can help runners and sprinters and athletes, but as well as anybody who just wants to be healthy and more steady on their feet. People that are climbing stairs definitely need to have these uh, or they're going to start tripping and having problems. So hope this has been helpful. Uh, if I can help you at all, please uh, go to my website, www.jeffeckles.com. Also check us out on Facebook, uh, Jeff Eccles. And uh, I'll see you on the next video.